This pink ribbon is the symbol of support for women who have breast cancer. But for many women who have battled the disease, a bit of cloth may not be adequate to reflect the grueling experience. These portraits tell their stories. They're part of an exhibit called The Scar Project by photographer David Jay, who has been capturing feminine beauty for 20 years. Jay says the project began after his girlfriend's twin sister was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 29. When she was diagnosed with breast cancer, within about two weeks they had done a mastectomy and removed one of her breasts. And it was just really, really shocking. And I suppose as a photographer, taking pictures is my way of dealing with my own issues, perhaps. And I just took a picture of her, this beautifully disturbing portrait of her in a pair of jeans and no shirt with this big scar across her chest. And there was no intention other than to take a picture just for my own needs. Paulina said, you know, maybe, maybe you'd like to shoot some of the girls, uh, my friends that I've gone through chemotherapy with. They're also in their 20s. And she said, I think they might find it interesting and perhaps get something out of it. And I think you might find something interesting there too. And the SCAR project was born like that. At a friend's suggestion, Jay sent his pictures to a breast cancer website. He could hardly have imagined that a woman would be willing to pose before a stranger's camera and expose her wounds to the world. I honestly didn't know if, A, anyone would ever want their picture taken, or B, if anyone would want to look at the pictures after they were taken. I was really shocked in a positive way to the response. Thousands and thousands of emails of young women and older women, up to 80, who wanted to participate in the SCAR project and have their portrait taken. And uh, at the time I thought, this is probably Perhaps it'll best serve as an awareness-raising campaign for young women because 99% of the media out there in the world is focused on women certainly over 40 and most over 50. Since then, women from all over the world have come to Jay's New York studio to confront the truth about their malady. And Jay also travels to photograph willing cancer survivors who are physically or financially unable to come to him. And I actually prefer that. I like shooting them in their own environment. There's just something very honest about it. And there's this beautiful connection of them in their own space. And I think they have more impact that way as well. But I've shot Latin, African-American, African, Indian, um, every possible racial or ethnic variety that I've been able to. And I think these, uh, some of these women are exceptionally strong. I would be lying to you all if I told you that it wasn't hard sometimes to look in the mirror and see my scars for what they are. But I think in a way I kind of let the mirror fog up just so that it softens the edges. You know, it doesn't make it so in your face. Reflected in David Jay's portraits, the scars on the most feminine part of these young women's anatomy are now a treatment for the wounds within them. The way society thinks of a woman, you know, she has long hair, she has eyelashes, she has two breasts, she has ovaries. So when some of that is taken away from you, sometimes you do feel less of a woman. I'm not really worried about the surgery. I've had surgery before and it's not a big deal. I'm not really worried about the pain, I'm just mostly worried about what it's like to wake up without one of my breasts. It gives them an opportunity to confront what's happened to them and to, to come to terms with a little, a little bit, to not hide, 
to just stand in front of the camera, to stand in front of me and ultimately the world who's going to see them and just and not be ashamed and just say, listen, this is me now. This is who I am now. And I'm still a woman and I'm proud. The pictures have transformed fear and disappointment into pride and resilience. In Jay's portraits, the beauty of women who have endured horrible pain looks straight into your eyes. In general, I don't want them smiling, laughing, because I don't think it's really honest. I don't think it's how they really feel necessarily about their situation. I don't think they get up in the morning and look in the mirror and go, wow, that's fantastic, look at me. Although, I hope they do. I, I think in general that isn't how they see themselves. One of them is a woman, Sarah. She came here with her girlfriend. She stood behind my back and I pulled the pictures up on the screen and then just tears. So Sarah started crying and I said, now, now we shoot. So I dragged her back the window and took three frames and that's the picture that hangs in the exhibition. David Jay's portraits have been shown across the United States, collected in a book and featured in a documentary, attracting the attention of the public and the media and raising awareness. The SCAR project's about acceptance. It's not really just about breast cancer. It's about accepting things that happen to us in life the way we appear to everyone else and, and coming to terms with it for ourselves. For producers Sarah Degan and Tanya Darban, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.